From red tide to blue green algae, Southwest Florida just can't catch a break. Tonight, fish kills and the foul stench are getting worse. Here's the newest red tide map. You can see the harmful bloom now stretches from Sarasota all the way to Naples. But there is hope for a potential solution to fight some of these problems. The Nightbeat is bringing you live team coverage on water quality concerns here at home. Let's head straight to Kelsey Kushner on Fort Myers Beach, where weekend plan Wink News drone giving us a side by side look at some of the places where the blue green algae is actually improving. This is Paradise Marina in North Fort Myers, two weeks ago on the left, today on the right. But there are still so many bad areas. And now, as of today, Lee County says it will pay to clean things up. Not as easy as it sounds, though. The night beats John Carlos Estrada live in the Cape with a potential solution. All new at 10. Oh, Chris, Lee County Commissioners approved that cleanup today, but it's going to take another five days before they start. But just take a look at this canal here in Cape Coral. Neighbors tell me that they are now ground zero for that cleanup. Just take a look how green it is. We even saw some areas where it's blue, but we spoke to one water activist who says that cleanup is just a temporary relief. And as it got thicker and started creating areas of just probably three inch thick muck, it would then start going to the blue stages. These Cape neighbors are fed up with what's recently shown up in their canal. How would you describe the smell? Dog poop. Well, some relief coming soon. The Lee County Commissioners just approved spending $15,000 for a test to clean some of this up. Now, some of the waterfront residents have been impacted really, really bad. I mean, health effects that are nightmarish. And if, if this will give them a little temporary relief, they deserve it. Using $3 million from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, a private company will begin sucking up the algae and disposing of it at another location that hasn't been disclosed yet. But the bigger picture is it's like, it's like putting a Band-Aid on a bullet wound. It's just, it's not going to solve the underlying problem. Water activist John Cassani says disposing of the toxic algae blooms will be new for the state. So there'll have to be some probably temporary provisions about making sure people don't have access to where they, they ultimately dump it. Calusa Waterkeepers worries this short term could also be a political move by commissioners in an election year. I'd, I'd like to take them at their word for this, but you know, you're always thinking, you know, what's, what's the underlying motivation here? Political move or not, these neighbors are ready for relief. I think this is just a, a short term for a major incident, and they should have been ahead of the curve. And we don't know where they're going to put all that algae once they collect it. We did ask the county repeatedly, but the, uh, we have not heard back yet. On the night beat, John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now. John Carlos